So we got a mock draft coming out of the athletic. Which one. means it's higher brow. Higher brow, mm-hmm. very snooty mock draft coming it's, from the It's athletic. very stony country club yes. mock draft. Yeah, Nick Baumgartner, Mr. Country Club. <laughs> So uh, the first. Will you th- let me build the product up a little? <laughs> the first three picks are what you'd expect. You got Caleb Done. Williams. You got Drake May. You got Jane Daniels. Blah blah blah. Number four, we have our first trade of the draft. The Minnesota Vikings trade eleven twenty three and a twenty twenty five first round pick to Arizona for number four. They trade up for JJ McCarthy. I'll I'll keep saying it. I understand why they're doing it. I still think it's stupid. It's stupid because look at what you're giving up and look at how good he has to be. Right. And you just, you'd be saying the same thing if it was Drake May, right? 100%. Yes. Now, again, the Giants sitting at six and saying, we're desperate, we're homeless, we need a quarterback. That's different. You're not giving up right. three draft picks. Correct. So, again, again, here, Stoney, serve and volley. I just don't think he's that good. I know. I know he has the tools. I can understand the projection. And if you're Kevin O'Connell and you go, I can I can bring the best out. We got Addison. We got uh, Justin Je- Jefferson. Respect. Yes. But giving up all of that puts a pressure on that young man. I agree. Where J.J. can't be good. J.J. can't even be Kirk Cousins. J.J. has to be the best quarterback in football if I'm giving up three first-round picks for him. I agree. I just think it's it's a little nutty. We have back-to-back trades following that. We got uh, Atlanta trading up to number eight, and or to number five. They trade number eight, 43, and a 2025 20, mid-round pick to the Chargers, oh. and they will be taking Marvin Harrison Jr. Why does nobody want to trade with my Giants? You're so mean in that ridiculous <laughs> Macho Man t-shirt. All right. And, and yes, I think that would be a good move. You go all in, and you have Kirk Cousins just... Light it up. That that's it. They got to sell tickets. They're gonna have to win with offense. I'm I'm convinced Atlanta will never have a dominant defense, and it gives the Chargers more picks, which they need because they're in salary cap right. hell. Go ahead, Kenny. Well, you wanted a Giants trade here. You got yes. one. Yes. The Chicago Bears trade up to number six. They trade you number nine, number seventy five, and a twenty twenty five mid round pick to select Malik Neighbors. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I don't care. I love it. Why my team blows. Stony thoughts. More, more picks. <laughs> Just, we're yes. terrible. Yeah, I think it's a good move. There's for no both singular teams. players c- coming to town to save us unless you're going to put a helmet on Jesus. We got nothing. I mean, you look at Chicago's now, if this would happen, you know, with DJ Moore and Malik Neighbors. Correct. You're, you're investing in your quarterback. Yeah, even though he's a rookie. Here's some Giants action for you, too, Mike. Number nine, the Giants take from Georgia, tight end Brock Bowers. <laughs> and the best part is you get him before the Jets would pick him at 10. Probably. Yes. That is you know that's like Stoney in his prime. Yeah. He took two chicks to the same movie on different nights. That's what we'd yes, be doing. Exactly. We'd be getting the player we want, score. We'd be screwing over the Jets, score. A plus in my world. And going back in time at number seven, Tennessee selects Roma Dunze, adding speed and explosion, which the Titans don't have much of. Okay, that. then. Now give us some of the more interesting selections from now until the Lions pick. From now until the Lions pick, we got our first uh, corner and our first edge coming off of the, the board. Arizona taking uh, Terry on Arnold at, at 11. The Rams taking edge rusher Dallas Turner at 12. In a trade with... Uh... Yeah, they trade. Yeah, they trade number nineteen, number fifty-two, to Denver for number twelve. Let me ask you a question: What has happened to Jared Verse in this draft process, where he's gone from a top five pick to clearly not going where Dallas Turner's going? What's happened there? I don't know. In he in this draft, he goes number fifteen to the Colts. Better than what we saw last week, where mm-hmm. he was at like thirtieth. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Kenny. Uh, Philly just adds to their uh, defense, taking corner Quinion Mitchell at number fourteen. It, it needed. Slay needs help, man. They've got the front. They, they they paid huge dollars to go get Bryce Huff. They need corners. Badly. Don't were, hate it. Were you wondering where Bo Nix goes? 
Bo Nix <sighs> goes number 19 to the Denver Broncos. Uh, again, if they trade from 12 to 19, get paid to take the kid, I can't make fun of it. Mm. Now, again, at 19, why am I taking Bo Nix instead of Michael Penix? Because Sean Payton knows everything. Okay, then. <laughs> I, boy, I could make a couple jokes here. I'll leave it alone. Yeah. Go ahead, Kenny. I was going to say you wanted uh, Michael Penix. He isn't drafted till pick number 44. And he goes well, to the Giants. He goes to the Las Vegas Raiders. Try it again. <laughs> the Las Vegas. Try it again. Giants. Damn it. Sorry. I, all right. Who do the Lions take at 29? The Lions take Jackson Powers Johnson at 29. A, I'd be an A-plus yes, in my world. Absolutely. No issue. He's Ragnow's replacement. He can play guard as a rookie. It's it's flexibility, and it's five years of dirt, cheap, team control. Zeitler out. Ragnow out. Powers Johnson fills one of those roles. Now I'd be totally it's, it's happy. one pick ahead of Kool-Aid. He's, I'm totally happy. I agree. Because by this point, if we get to training camp and they haven't signed a veteran corner, it won't matter if they take a corner in the first round. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to win a Super Bowl. The odds a rookie is going to stack up. There's some interesting things in the in round two, by the way. Go ahead, spotlight it. Stoney. For instance, Chop Robinson doesn't go till 36 to Washington. He's short. <laughs> Darius Robinson goes to Carolina at 39. Detroit product by way of Missouri. You know, and as Kenny mentioned, uh, the Raiders taking Penix at 44. Uh, let's see. Chris Jenkins from Michigan goes to New Orleans at 45. Guy I want Giants to take. Santa Strill. Guy I want Giants to take. Miami at 55. Don't you think Sandra still could walk in the league as a starting nickel and be good? Yes. He, I mean, obviously, he won't know the opposition's plays like he did in college, but he's still a very <laughs> cerebral player. He's a good ball player. Give that up. <laughs> Can we put a moratorium on that until the sanctions come down? I can't yes. help it. I know you can. Uh, Junior Colson at Tampa at 57. And the Lions at 61. Let's hear it. Braylon Trice, Edge Washington. Second round? Wouldn't be mad. No. And again, it's all about having seven or eight guys who can rush the passer. Mm -hmm. You would add him to the collection. I wouldn't depend upon him. He would be able to be deployed. If if you could sign me up for that to be their draft, Mm -hmm. where it's Powers Johnson in the first and Trice in the second, I'd sign a piece of paper right now. I'd be totally comfortable with that. They have the Giants, by the way, taking uh, Tyler Newman from Minnesota in the second round. Safety, good pick. Again, we have no safeties. Right. We have we let our franchise safety walk away. So yeah, Stony starting at safety currently. Third round Lions. This is a three round mock. Yes, uh, with the pick from Minnesota. I'm not familiar with this guy's work. From the home, uh, the former home of John Calipari, uh, Andrew Phillips, cornerback from Kentucky. Cornerback. <sighs> Again, I can't sit here and have a big opinion about a third round corner. Right. If Brad likes him. This is where I would defer. His specialty is corners. Mm. He did it for the Rams. If he likes him, it's good enough for me. And the Giants, two picks later, guard from Boston College, Christian Mahogany. I'm in. I'm in. Why? Because we suck. All right. <laughs> that is your highbrow, athletic, subscription-based yes. mock draft.